Hi friends welcome to Diagnox this is Dr Farakat today i am going to discuss a very interesting topic that's bleeding lesions of oral cavity the most fearful thing in a dental setup is bleeding especially before we do extractions so whenever possible and for suspicious patients for patient with liver disorder or patients who are on antiplatelet drugs we should do blood investigations like bleeding time clotting time inr prothrombin time activated partial thromboplastin time and we should also have gelatin sponge and tranexamic acid tablets with us so that we can control bleeding today i am going to discuss some uncommon conditions which can result in profuse bleeding there are certain signs classic clinical appearances by which we can diagnose these conditions so that we do not encounter unnecessary bleeding i will be discussing these conditions with few clinical cases so that all of you can understand better these are some of the common conditions which can cause serious bleeding hematoma av malformation central lesions which occurs within the bone and varix before we go into classic bleeding lesions we will see some lesion which will resemble vascular lesion but they may not bleed like a vascular lesion so one such lesion is purpura this is a purpuric lesion on the lower lip as a result of trauma the lesion initially will be red and turns brown in few days once the extravasated rbc has been lysed and has been degraded to hemosiderin such single lesion with history of trauma are straightforward and these lesions tend to resolve in 2 weeks without any intervention this is another interesting condition where a patient complains of a blood filled lesion which is of recent onset we may think these lesions as a bleeding lesion or a hematoma but what we should keep in mind is that usually hematoma and vascular lesions doesn't occur all of a sudden this is a condition called as angina bullosa hemorrhagica where patient gets these kind of blistering or blood filled lesions and managing these lesions are easy you can just aspirate these lesions and or it will just drain it off this is another interesting case where a patient complained of a blood filled lesion in the sulcus and you can see that immediate resolution of the lesion after aspiration this is also a case of angina bullosa this is a interesting case where a patient visited us with a complaint of growth in the palatal region she just wants to get it removed when you observe carefully you can see an erythematous area involving one half of the palate and also the facial skin since birth these regions are very high in capillaries and vessels and excision of these lesions without further investigation in a normal clinical setup could result in aggressive clinical bleeding this is again a similar case with facial port wine stain and erythema involving one half of jaw this is a case of struge weber syndrome struge weber syndrome is a neurologic disorder with marked port wine stain that's overabundance of dilated blood vessels and capillaries 
blood vessels on the same side of brain is also affected so the patient will have leptomeningeal angiomatosis and also glaucoma we should be very careful when we do procedure in these kind of patients especially in that side of jaw because there is a possibility of severe overbleed this is a case of av malformation which is an abnormal communication between artery and vein they are usually present since birth and they are better diagnosed by ct angiogram and it's wise not to touch these kinds of patient in a clinical setup and these are some differences between hemangioma and vascular malformation and the most important difference is hemangioma tend to involute as the patient gets older whereas most of these vascular malformations tend to grow along with the patient this is another patient who visited us with a complaint of a swelling in the lower alveolar sulcus you can see a nodular lesion which is of blue to purple in color initially we thought this could be a mucosal but this is a case of varix varix is an abnormally dilated vessel which is usually a vein and you can see once it's aspirated you can see the profuse bleeding and it is wise not to put a bp blight on these kind of lesions because it will be impossible to arrest a bleed from these kinds of lesion this is another case of a varix which is a dilated vessel when it comes to vascular lesions there is an important test called as dioscopy which is a very easy simple test which can be performed by all clinicians in a normal clinical setup and it helps us to rule out vascular lesions from other lesions dioscopy is a test for blanchability performed by applying pressure with a glass slide and observing color changes if there is blanching it's a vascular lesion and it helps us to rule out vascular lesion from pigmented lesion which is most oftenly confused for vascular lesions with this i would conclude my presentation so we would make videos that are useful to clinicians students and oral medicine practitioners if you like our video you can subscribe our youtube channel diagnox thank you